say it again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Pierre Quinn. I just need you to take one hand and just wave it at me. Everybody, on the count of three, say, hey, Pierre. One, two, three. Hey, Pierre. That's an interesting question. I think I've been on a journey for, for several years to find out. I think at, at my base, I'm a, I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I'm a communicator. I'm passionate about helping people learn to live, learn, and lead with confidence. I think that's what I'm put on the earth to do. And wherever I can do that, if I'm doing it in the ministry space, if I'm talking to high school students, if I'm talking to young professionals, my mission in life is to help them to be better. And that's what I strive to do every day. You have so many things going for you. You're gifted. You can do all of these great things. I've been hearing that ever since I was five or six years old. But nobody ever told me practically, how am I supposed to apply this stuff? I remember even at an early age, even when my teachers wouldn't give me assignments, my parents would give me assignments. Read the newspaper, you know, write a book report. Uh, listen to this talk and tell us what you think. I would go to my, with my dad to City Hall and sit in on council meetings. And I think those experiences helped me understand just the power and the impact of communication and of your words. Uh, interestingly enough, when I first started, I wanted to be an architect. I didn't know that because I like to draw. I didn't know architects needed to learn a lot of math. <laughs> math wasn't my thing. But it was always this thing, and I think it happens to most people growing up. You're, in a, if you grew up in a church environment, you're up front and some, some people are shy about it. Some actually acclimate or are drawn to it. And that was kind of my first experience with trying to put all the things together that were, I was introduced into my home environment. And then from there, it just kind of took off. Fundamentally, your job as a leader is you lead people. And don't ever forget that. So you can expect a lot of energy, you can expect a lot of interaction, you can expect a lot of my personality to come through, of, of being engaging, but you can also expect to walk away with something practical that you can implement. So it's not just having a good time about getting your emotions high, but it's about practical tools and tips and insights that you can put into use as soon as you walk away from the event to help you to be a better leader. So I wrote this book, Leading While Green, How Emerging Leaders Can Ripen Into Effective Leaders. And I really wrote the book out of my personal leadership journey of, of hearing over and over that, you know, one day you're going to be good and you have so much talent, you have so much skill, you have so much ability. And one day and one day and one day. And I started getting into my 30s and asking, OK, when is this one day going to come? Because of what I was hearing, what I what I was hearing was you'll be great one day. Mm, you can't really do anything now until you become great. And I said, well, that's not really, that's not really factual. What if I shifted on focused, shifted to focusing on being effective right now and not really thought about greatness? If greatness comes, if it's a byproduct of consistency, of being consistently effective, then so be it. But if it doesn't come, I can at least say I've done what I was supposed to do. So I wrote the book for people, no matter what stage you are in your leadership journey, if you're just starting off, if you're if you're green or if you're mature or if you're transitioning to another leadership role, I wrote the book with practical insights on how to be effective no matter what stage of leadership that you're in. And it's been well received so far. A couple of reviews of the book. One was by New York Times bestselling author Kevin Cruz. And when you have somebody who makes the New York Times bestselling list actually give you a positive review of your book, uh, it's it, it's something that you're that you're that you're proud of. And he said in 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 his review, he said this is one of the the most fun leadership books I've read in a long time. He said I read a lot, and this is the most fun leadership book I've read in a long time. And I think for me that that is. A reflection of my personality and the experience that I have um, when when I'm when I'm teaching and when I'm sharing in seminars and workshops. I don't just want it to be a transfer of information. I want it to be a fun, interactive environment. I think for the most part, I have concentrated on being on other people's platforms. Well, somebody will invite me to a school, they'll invite me to a church, 
I'll speak for a nonprofit group. So I've kind of been focused on being in that area. How do I get, how do I get my message to where someone else has a group of people? I'm finding now that there is a lot of opportunity for me to create the platform, for me to create the environment, for me to create the event, and then to invite people to come to events where I'm sharing the things that I've learned. I'm, I'm learning the power and I've listened to uh, a guy named Jonathan Milligan and he did an online summit. And one of the people he interviewed, he said, there, there are two things that you can focus on. You can focus on being on somebody else's stage or you can focus on setting your own table and inviting people to sit down at the table and sharing with you, sharing with them the things that you've experienced. So that's kind of the direction that I'm going. So I think for this next section, that's what I'm looking forward to. I still do school stuff, I still do church stuff, I still do nonprofit events, but also focusing on building my own team and building our platform and being in control of distributing our own message and inviting people to come down and sit at our table. Your, your project can have all of the awareness, it can have all the support, but if the leader is not setting the right pace, it's not going to go anywhere.